Hello friends, welcome once again welcome to BISPTrainings.com. I'm Amit and I'm going to show you today how to perform advanced analysis using table calculation. In today's example, we'll see the business like to know uh, the percentage of direct expenses is used as an indirect expenses across all organization. What does that mean? Let's see the sample data to make it easy to understand. So we have got two kind of expenses, direct expense and indirect expense. The business like to identify the percentage of indirect expense with respect to direct expense. In other way around, what is the percentage of my indirect expense for direct expense? If my direct expense is 100%, my even direct expense is $100, Indirect expense is 58. So 58 percent of I'm using as an indirect expense of my direct expense. This is what business like to know. So in order to identify this analysis, the step first we connect to a data source and uh, build this model. So refer my previous video about calculating direct and indirect expense for HR model. This video is a continuation to the same. You see the model consists of your employee expense type, expense detail, plan, forecasted expenses, expense group and expense unit across different organization. So let's start building it because we already built our data model in the previous session. We start our analysis from building a report. I like to quickly recapitulate how the data model look like. A data model consists of employee expenses which in turn join with employee expense detail using common key called employee expense type code. Expense type code is a primary key and foreign key over here. In this example we use EQ join. So it joins with employee expense detail, employee expense plan, employee expense group and employee expense unit across all organization. So organization join using organization code. Once your model is ready, it is your choice. You would like to connect to live connection or data extract. If your data is relatively static, you can use extract your data. So, because my data is historical and it has got once data refresh once in a month, I prefer to extract my data. So, in this example, I extracted some sample rows, top 79,000 rows. You could have also chosen. 10% of your sample data like this. I already extracted this data and it is available over here under my my document my tablet repository over here. So you can publish this over the server and rather than you put into your local system you put into the server and can define your uh, data refresh policies. Okay. So in an administration session we'll talk about how to extract and schedule your data extract and data refresh as well. For now, let's focus on our actual requirement. So my business like to identify direct and indirect expense. Though I don't have any kind of expense called direct and indirect expense. I don't have any major named as direct and indirect expense. I'm going to create them based on my grouping across different organizations. So you see I've got organization name in different languages. It's like an alias support, multi-language support of my data model. I've got all organization. I like to confine my focus to some of the organizations. I drag and drop, apply filter. I like to see corporate, customer, finance, HR, marketing, operation, and procurement. Only these, sorry, only these member I like to use into my data analysis. So I like to see my total expenses. Right now, you see total expense of benefit, pay, and training. However, I like to see direct expense and indirect expense. So benefit and training are considered as an indirect expense. I right click and group it. So you see the cumulative value over here. Indirect expense. I right click and change the alias. I name it as indirect expense. And pay I call this a direct expense. I edit alias and change it. So I got direct and indirect expense. I just swap it. Right. Now, 
here I use a, the when you group it you see there's a separate image gets created called employee expense group one if you want you can modify this given alias name right click and rename it I call employee expense group it makes sense which is direct and indirect okay but I like to see the total expenses so first I add a grand total of rows and column and grand total of column as well okay. uh, for now I'm going to remove it grand total on columns okay. I'm confined only to rows so you got multiple option you can display this expenses in terms of percentage by using table calculation percentage of total this is percentage of total right for row wise percentage of total grand total this is 63 percent you spend as direct expense and 36 percent you expend to the indirect expense but this is what exactly i do not want that I want indirect expense how much percent of direct expense okay so I go back and and display it once again in terms of numbers so you can clear table calculation the numbers are really high and therefore the analysis is a little difficult so what I do I'm going to edit this shelf and divide by hundred thousand so that I could display in hundred thousand units So now it makes sense. I like to see how much percent is indirect expense or direct expense. We, let me calculate over here and show you what I want exactly. So my indirect expense is 192 is how much percent of direct expense 328 in 200 is 58.53 percent. So indirect expense is 58 percent of direct expense. This is exactly what business like to see. In order to find this I can use the table calculation percentage of percent difference right percent difference uh, let me edit this I would like to see percent difference edit table calculation percent difference of my previous one apply it's a 58 percent right but the direct expense shows the empty so which is not bringing meaningful data to my end users and therefore I use percent difference from first so here you see your direct expense is 100% and 58% is of your indirect expense this is what business like to see so this way they can identify the highest information service and technology the department where my indirect expense are highest compared to any other expenses my indirect expense is 61% of direct expense for finance sorry not for here for finance it is highest I can sort by numbers for finance my indirect expense is 67 percent compared to my direct expense you can further sort them out sort them as well based on numbers write down this ascending order you can sort them based on descending all numbers as well so you got all this option in your hand you can sort on alphabetically sort on ascending descending sort this number based on your organization group so this is how you can identify the percentage difference and percentage of direct expense with respect to indirect expense so that's it for today Watch our next example for advanced analysis. We'll further draw a plot, a chart on top of this and identify the pattern analysis on direct and indirect expense with respect to different months. That's it for today. Should you have any question, please write to us. Our site is bisptrainings.com. Thank you.